Hello friends, welcome to the next part of this JavaScript lecture series. And in this lecture, in continuation with our DOM manipulations, we'll uh, continue with our next property, which is called as inner text property in JavaScript. Okay. Now, similar to the property that we have discussed in the last lecture, that is inner HTML, the inner text property can be used to write the dynamic text on the HTML document. So, there is a minor difference between inner html and inner text property inner html property was used to generate dynamic html whereas inner text property is used to generate the dynamic text on the html document okay and the second difference is the text which is available here after the use of this inner text the that particular text will not be interpreted as an html but it will be treated as a normal text okay so, uh, what is the use of this property? So, this property is specifically used in the web pages to generate the dynamic content such as writing validation messages, password strength messages, password comparison messages, uh, email, com uh, email validation messages and so on so forth. Okay. So, to understand this property, we have taken an example. We have drawn an HTML form. In this, uh, we have taken an input type which has the value as password with the name as upass. Okay. And on click, I want to call a method which is called as show method. So, I have uh, declared this method show here. And I have created a span with an ID location. So, span as you can see the definition, this, this element doesn't mean anything on its own. But it can be useful when used together with the global attributes that is class, lang or dir. And it can be used to generate this type of dynamic text okay however if I type the password this with the help of this span I can generate dynamic text over the message okay so I, I have to write the method and I want the method to be something like this that is if a user enters a password here suppose if I say my password is this okay and if a user enters a password and if the password's length is greater than 8 then it will say the message as good otherwise it will show the message as poor strength okay so to achieve that we'll write the function show as i'll say i have taken a variable named as message that will be displayed and i'll say if document dot document should contain a form here so I'll have to declare the form. So I'll say form, form tag, and after this span, I'll close my form. Okay. So the form will be something like this. So I'll say I'll have to call this uh, element from the form. So I'll say form name equals to my form. Okay. So that I can fetch the hierarchy. So I'll say document dot my form dot. Now this my form is containing two things that is input type equal to password with the name upass and span with an id which is mylock so i want to fetch the value of this password so i'll use its name property so my form dot upass dot value and the values length so i'll say document dot my form dot upass dot value dot length is greater than 8 so if its length is greater than 8 what i will need to do i will say message equals to uh, good strength okay and otherwise so else i will say message equals poor strength okay so now if you uh, any user enters any password and so it will check fetch the password it is check the length and if the length is greater than 8, it will say message equals to good strength and it will set, otherwise it will set the message as poor strength. Now, after assigning the message, what we will need to do? We will need to display this message. So, for that we will say document dot get element by id and I want to display the element, uh, display the message on this particular element which is having the id myloc. So, I will say document dot get element by id. Uh, my lock okay and 
dot inner text and I want to generate the inner text as what whatever the message is containing so I'll say inner text equal to message okay so this is how I'll use this inner text property to generate the messages okay now if I say I, I'll refresh the page okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine you can see it is printing poor strength but it is not printing this good strength why the reason behind it we have used the event handler as on click so I have uh, committed this mistake so uh, that you can understand that which particular event handler must be used in particular situations okay so to understand this what you'll have to do at what particular part you want to perform this uh, password checking you can see as and when I pressing the key values it should change the value okay so for that the particular event handler should be not on click it should be on key up okay you can see the definition it is saying whenever the key is released okay and if I say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 you can see it is still poor strength as in when I print 9 10 11 12 the message is automatically converted into a good strength okay so if you are using DOM manipulations and you are working on JavaScript with, with particular key events it is a must to understand that which particular event handler must be used in particular situations so every time on click will not work and every time on double click will not work so you have to deal with particular situations that which particular event handler will work as you can see we are not having any button here so on click will not work here okay that's why we have changed our event handler as on key up equals to show so event handler will be on key up okay so this is it for now and if you have any doubt then you can ask in our comment section and to support us kindly subscribe our channel thank you so much